Here we are going to discuss about one of the very important topic of the gross anatomy of the abdomen that is the arterial supply of the stomach. And this topic is very important for majority of the licensing exams all over the world. And here the arterial supply of the stomach we are going to discuss under following headings that is arterial supply of the lesser curvature, arterial supply of the greater curvature, arterial supply of the fundus of the stomach as well as the cardiac end of the stomach. First let me talk about the arterial supply of the lesser curvature of the stomach. The lesser curvature of the stomach is supplied by the right gastric artery which is a branch of common hepatic artery which is a branch of celiac trunk and also it is supplied by the left gastric artery as you can see this is the left gastric artery which is the direct branch of the celiac trunk. So we can clearly see here the left gastric artery which is the direct branch of the celiac trunk and the right gastric artery which is the branch of common hepatic artery are anastomosing with each other at the lesser curvature of the stomach. So the lesser curvature is supplied by the right gastric artery inferiorly and the left gastric artery superiorly. This is about the arterial supply of the lesser curvature. Next when we talk about the arterial supply of the cardiac end of the esophagus, we can see here the cardiac end of the esophagus as well as abdominal part of the esophagus or we can say the cardiac uh, part of the stomach supplied by the short gastric arteries which are also called as the branches of uh, the left gastric artery. You, you should not confuse the short gastric arteries uh, of the fundus. We also have the short gastric arteries of the fundus as well as short gastric arteries which are coming from the left gastric artery or simply we can say that the branches of the left gastric artery or the esophageal branches of the left gastric artery supplies the abdominal part of the esophagus as well as the cardiac end of the stomach. So what is the blood supply of the cardiac end of the stomach or abdominal part of the esophagus? Nothing but we can say esophageal branches of the left gastric artery. Now let us discuss about the fundus of the stomach. So when we discuss about the fundus of the stomach, the fundus is supplied by the short gastric arteries which are the direct branches of the terminal part of the splenic artery. So these are the short gastric arteries. So we have a ligament between the fundus of the stomach as well as spleen called as gastrosplenic ligament. So these short gastric arteries which are arising from the terminal part of the splenic artery pass through this gastrosplenic ligament and supply the fundus of the stomach. So what is the arterial supply of the fundus of the stomach? Short gastric arteries which are the branches of terminal part of the splenic artery. Now let us discuss about the arterial supply of the greater curvature. When we discuss about the arterial supply of the greater curvature over here, the arterial supply of the greater curvature is by the left gastro-omental artery which is also called as left gastro-epiploic artery which is a branch of splenic artery and it is also supplied by right gastro-omental artery. So the right gastro-omental artery as well as left gastro-omental artery anastomosis at the greater curvature of the stomach. So this uh, right gastro-omental artery is a terminal branch of the pancreaticoduodenal duodenal artery. So the pancreaticoduodenal duodenal artery gives off a branch called as right gastro-omental artery which is also called as the right gastro-epiploic artery runs along the greater curvature of the stomach anastomosis with the left gastro-omental artery. So the lower part or the inferior part of the greater curvature is supplied by the right gastro-omental artery which is also called as the right gastro-epiploic artery and the upper part or the superior part of the greater curvature is supplied by the left gastro-omental artery which is also called as the left gastroepiploic artery which is the branch of splenic artery. So this is what is about the arterial supply of the stomach.